Hello everybody, my name is Lance McCarthy, Chief Executive, and welcome to my latest video diary. Um, as you can see today, I am with five uh, of the six of our amazing uh, Pets as Therapy uh, team and colleagues. Um, absolutely gorgeous, uh, gorgeous dogs and absolutely fantastic um, uh, owners who uh, give up lots and lots of their time as volunteers to come into the hospital. I think you've made 150 visits or so uh, over the last 18 months to, uh, to various different departments. Uh, to support our patients and to uh, to support our staff. I've heard some absolutely fantastic stories uh, in the last half an hour or so about the positive impact uh, that uh, that um, uh, that these dogs have had on uh, on our patients and our staff. Um, but can I throw it open? Reflections, ideas of the, of the real positive things that you've seen. Um, to, yes, of course. Yeah, we, I mean, we've all got fantastic stories that we can uh, sort of pass on to everyone. And it's always been a pleasure to come up uh, to Princess Alexander Hospital. Um, for me, uh, myself and Steve actually started off the original contact with the hospital. And uh, we couldn't ask for any more positive reaction when we spoke to the volunteering team. Um, the good thing for us is that we were able to sit down, have a chat, go through everything what we needed to make sure that when we arrived, that we actually had the everything set up before we arrived. Um, the health and safety aspects of coming into a hospital with a dog, any circumstances, we had to make sure that was all done. We were able to be escorted around the hospital. Um, the guys, the volunteers and the staff who'd done that for us were fantastic. They looked after us, they made sure we were safe, they made sure the dogs were safe. Um, and we felt so comfortable going to, to quite difficult situations. I mean, myself and Cato, we thoroughly enjoy visiting the hospital. And again, everyone here has got fantastic stories about it. Hi, yeah, um, I'm Pat and this is Izzy. She's a three-year-old toy poodle. And I got Izzy especially to be a therapy dog because she was small and I could put her on the bed um, of the patients. And I've seen some amazing um, reactions from some of the patients. Uh, I had a lady of over a hundred who cried when she had Lizzie on her lap because she said I'd never have the privilege of stroking a dog again. And she was just so thrilled. Um, we also visited a 14 year old girl who, who had autism in the children's ward and she got on the floor to play with Izzy and she suddenly announced that Izzy had healed her leg because the pain in her leg didn't hurt anymore. So, and she's also um, visited dementia patients. We've been to the high dependency. And I think what we're so impressed with the dogs is that hospitals are, are funny places. They smell funny. There's a lot of sound, people rushing about. And these dogs all take it in their stride. So I'm just really proud of how they all react to, and not only to the patients, but to the staff and the relatives as well. Often we have relatives who say this is just the best thing that they could have had for their for their children or their relatives. Hi, my name's Amanda. This is Izzy Two. She's a Pomeranian. She's six years old. We've been doing therapy now for just over a year, but we've been visiting Princess Alexandra for about six months. Um, this one is just so cuddly. She loves all the attention from all the staff and the patients. Um, again, because she's so small, we can put her on the beds and let the patients have a cuddle with her. The children especially love her because they think she's a, a, teddy, a real life teddy bear. Um, we've been to visit some of the patients. Um, the dementia patients um, normally don't tend to recognize us or react to us, but as soon as they see the dogs, their um, expressions on their faces change immediately as soon as they see the dog. Um, some patients we've been to have cried because they're missing their, their animals at home. They're missing their own pets. So it's good for them to have some, um, relief, you know, some, some, um, cuddles with the dogs that we bring in as well. So, yeah. Hi, my name is Liz and this is Bailey and sit with his back to you, as you can see, it's always him. But, um, he, other than that, he's a very good dog. He's a three and a half year old Labrador. He's a show lab and I got involved with pets as therapy because we got Bailey as a puppy. He's, he's my, my, my husband and 
we had some dog trainers in that to help us to learn how so we could look after him properly. And they said, you know, when he's old enough, he's ideal to do this type of work because he's very calm, he's very laid back. So I started bringing him along when he was uh, two years old and we've been volunteering here for about 17 months, you know, working with a fantastic team and Phil and Alison um, in the voluntary services team and really, really enjoy it. It's, um, we're here for absolutely everybody, you know, the patients, the relatives, the staff. You can guarantee, though, it's always the staff will end up spending the most time talking with and interacting with and it helps them massively. We've been invited to attend the Wellbeing Weeks and there's one where we went to the A&E department and there was one doctor there who said thank you so much for coming along. They were having a particularly stressful and harrowing morning and this has just lifted everybody. And with the patients, uh, two examples really stand out for me. There was, there was a young girl who uh, was suffering from autism and some other mental health issues and had been in quite a distressed state and seeing Bailey just completely calmed her down cheered her up, relaxed her, uh, interacted absolutely beautifully with him. And there was another occasion where we were waiting to go into a ward and there was a young boy, probably about nine or ten, who was being wheeled in his bed, obviously to go down to the theatre for an operation, looking obviously quite anxious. But the minute he saw Bailey, his face just relaxed and he smiled. So I took him over to say hello and that massively helped him and I think his parents as well. Um, and it's a real privilege. People say, thank you so much for coming to do the work. But I think, well, it's you guys who are doing the work, you know, the hospital staff. And, um, you know, I feel really blessed that, to come along and uh, sort of be here. So thank you. Hi. Yeah, my name's Steve. And more importantly, this is Sammy. He's a 10-year-old Samoid. Um, he has a connection to Harlow because he's actually a rescue. He was found abandoned at eight months old, walking the streets of Harlow. Um, went to Samoid Rescue, big social media campaign to try and find his own, and nothing came of it. Went to Samoid Rescue. We fostered him for six weeks and nine years later, we're still going. And he has the accolade of being the first dog in this group to come to visit the hospital. So um, we used to visit Broomfield in Chelmsford. So I had experience of going into a hospital with a dog. So Sammy was the first, first of our boys to come in and walk around the hospital. And it's been wonderful. I'll give you one story. Um, a few weeks back, we got asked to go to intensive care and, um, Working in a hospital as I do, I didn't have a problem with that. You know, not everybody would have been comfortable. But we went up and they were very, very pleased to see us. Um, all the staff there said that they don't get many visitors because of the uh, the nature of the ward. Intensive care tends to put people off a little bit. But we went in and we had a good chat and we met loads of staff and loads of patients. And one of the doctors on, on, a, on uh, intensive care said, uh, would Sammy go on the bed? Well, he would like a shot I mean he but he does weigh five and a half stone so you wouldn't really want him laying on top of you on the bed so what I did was um, I kept one of my treats one of Sammy's treats in my hand and Sammy actually stood on the side rail of the bed which elevated him brought him right up there he was face to face with the patient and the reaction was just absolutely wonderful you know to be able to um, cheer up people and you know meet the star Normally, there's one or two of the staff when we visit wards come around with us. When we visited intensive care, I turned around at one point and there was about 10 members of staff, including senior doctors in the department, all standing around to see the reaction that their patients had meeting Sammy. And it was just absolutely wonderful. But yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a great place. And the volunteers team here have bent over backwards to help us out and get us around. And they, they couldn't be more helpful. So. It's, it's an absolute pleasure to come in here. First of all, can I just say a massive, massive, massive thank you to all of you for your time. Uh, you all do it on a voluntary basis. Thank you for uh, continuing to bring in your absolutely fantastically well-behaved and absolutely gorgeous uh, dogs. We know what a massive difference it makes and you've heard some fabulous stories and you know those stories inside out, what a fabulous difference it makes for our patients and, uh, and our relatives and, uh, and for our staff um, as well. I think we were saying earlier it's 150 or so visits in the last 18 months 
um, and uh, if anybody is interested in uh, in having an, any of these amazing uh, amazing dogs come to your areas, to your wards, to your departments, uh, please get in touch uh, with the voluntary services team. Uh, and on that note, I also want to say a massive thank you to the voluntary services team for helping facilitate this, uh, both from the start and then all the way through uh, the whole process. But thank you, thank you, thank you. Really appreciate it. And I know how much benefit you get back, but it's not as much as the benefit that our patients and our colleagues get. So I really appreciate it. Thank you so much.